All right, here we are. We're just gonna walk around a little bit again today. Not a whole lot out. Typical, really nice small day though. Super nice. In fact, wasn't even cool this morning really to speak of. I thought it was gonna be, but nope. <coughs> Slight cloud cover, which is probably why the heat is staying in. We're just going to bop over here for a bit. Notice this morning, there's a lot of stuff floating around out here. One of them is this bike. If this bike is yours, is it one that maybe, uh, maybe a bike that didn't get locked up last night or something? Somebody tried to wander off with it? If so, here's your bike. You might want to come and get it. We're at the corner of Sydney and Wilson. That's where that bike is. That's been there all morning. So, it looks fairly usable. It does have a broken basket, a plastic basket on the front, but other than that, it looks new. There's an office chair sitting out there. Not sure what that's about. It's got wheels on it, but I'm pretty sure it didn't roll there by itself. Fairly certain. See the delivery truck up there at uh, the storage place. That's where they... Uh, drop Amazon packages for people who aren't home or they can't get in their buildings. If you remind them, they will drop your Amazon packages up, up there and you can pick them up when you got time. <coughs> I don't know if that's a delivery truck or that might be a cable company or something. That's plumbing. Plumbing. Plumbing and heating. A lot of people out here doing scraping and cleaning at this facility. They're always working around there for maintenance and stuff. Like a never-ending chore. All colors out here starting to take over. You can see a lot of yellow, and little reds. And a lot of weed die off in that field. This stuff is really dry. I mean, I know people. Say, some people believe that this is a mild, we had a mild summer, but we had a super hot, dry summer. I don't know where those people come from. That is God's honest truth, bottom line. I don't know where anybody came from who thinks that this summer was mild. Or cooler than normal. It was a severely hot summer. Some days, I was out here walking all summer, and there are some days where it felt like the sun was going to chew the skin right off my body. No lie. So I don't know how many uh, people watch this. Just want to make sure you're aware that we are roaming and ramble. When I say we, I mean my family. 
Namely, it's me, but local events. You'll notice I do a lot of walks with my son and my daughter. <clears throat> and we just, uh, we also game. We're into music, so I do gaming releases, notices, and into the paranormal. You might see some more paranormal discussions. From us. I was thinking about going live a little bit later. I like to do that when it's quiet. Nothing worse than trying to discuss things you have to concentrate on and having kids bouncing around all over. Colors are getting crazy. I would sure hope the people who are trying to make a uh, habitat out of this area, calling it their home, in the middle of nowhere with no shelter on concrete slabs, have found some place else to be. It's getting kind of cool at night. And uh, the dew, super, super dew when it reaches the dew point. two storage facilities on this one street because it's been, well, needless to say for years it's been wasteland, more than, more than 20 for sure I'm told. I mean there was building here, warehouse that was cut up into small businesses for a while and then the whole place was condemned as being unsafe. And this side of the street has always had stuff and it's changed over the years. Not any new buildings, but what they used them for has changed. Not sure how long the Quinty Crematorium has been up here at all. There's no, I guess it's not something you brag about when, <laughs> when you open. Not something you go about advertising as a point of pride, usually. Sometimes you see that with uh, funeral homes or whatever, but not so much crematoriums. <laughs> Wall is definitely taken over here. <clears throat> the leaves are thinning out so much you can see the houses across on the other street. How far out this empty lot goes? Way, way over there. I guess that's Palmer Road over there. Runs this whole back area. Look at the color on that tree there. Oh, there's some pretty crazy reds.
Got a broken bits of everything back here, brick and gypsum. And I really don't want you in there. This is where the police come and sit and they watch because I do try to snag people that are staying in that lot. I really want them to leave it alone. There's always fires and fights and drugs and God knows what else going on in there. Like I said, I'm surprised to, some equipment hasn't showed up and started uh, prepping that field. For development and haven't done anything in at least three and a half years or so since they tore the warehouses and stuff out of here. cameras outside. I kind of wonder if they've ever captured anything uh, paranormal on their outdoor cameras here. <coughs> I, I really don't want to know what they've captured on uh, human activity out here. It gets pretty strange at times. a entertainment company over there. You can just see the trucks with the trailers with the uh, bouncy castles and stuff they rent out. Someday we'll have to venture over that way. I haven't been over there in, in years. To be honest. At least since 2019, during the, after the whole COVID thing took over, they shut down the, uh, the school parks and everything to the public. some of our high-rise housing off in the distance. We are definitely in a sort of an urban setting, but it's a city. We got high-rise apartment buildings and that's what they hope to put in over here. High-rise apartment buildings and some individual housing. Multiplex units. Who knows when that's going to get started. With the housing shortage we got, you would think they would be busy with uh, doing that already, but nope. Not even close. clouds and rain moving in, but I don't think there's much of a chance of rain.
thought this gimbal was going to give out on us. We haven't only been using it since uh, February or March when we got it. But apparently, I had been syncing it wrong. So it got a little bit crooked over time. Every time you turn it on, it has to be synced squarely in order to sit squarely. Otherwise, it sits with a little bit of a lean. Got a 10 second sync cycle. It sinks to where it's leaning. So if you notice, I tend to hold it like this and it leans like that. I walk this place quite frequently, but it's it's right close to home. I only have a limited time between doing breakfast, lunch, dinner, kids in and out of school. Summer is over. Friday there is a a march downtown. Take back tonight. It's a I guess it's a sexual abuse. More against the sexual, uh, sexual abuse march. We won't be going to that. Not really, not really a family friendly event. Not the kind of parade that the kids would uh, take to. I don't think. Well, I, like uh, my wife said, <laughs> very much support that type of thing, but not something we really want to take the kids to. <clears throat> Fence is changing color too. sure why that door is open, but I'm going to assume it's because it's hot in there. <coughs> I know that's where the laundry is, and the door wasn't open when I was down there. Just to give you some idea of how my week has been going, I thought today was Friday. Wishful thinking, perhaps. <coughs> A lot of people are simply getting rid of furniture over here. Guys, if you want some furniture that looks fairly new, even though it's probably been sitting out here for a while. It's here. Whole living room sets, chairs, rockers, recliners, lazy boys. You name it. It's out here in this lot.
Yeah, those leaves are really thinning out. You can see across the pot from here. A month ago, this was nothing but a wall of green. <laughs> and I don't mean the drugstore wall greens either. <laughs> This is a horrible tragedy. There's your modern day landlines from the 70s. I can find these destroyed underground wire boxes everywhere in this city. Somehow I doubt anyone's using a landline anymore connected to a phone line. Either underground or overhead with the exception of the cable lines where they use voice over IP. I think it's dead. It's one of those obsolete things. Squirrel. He's doing this high wire act. Uh, actually, he's doing a fence walking act on barbed wire, which is probably far more dangerous. She's not going to come out the other side, are you? No. Because you went right down into that basement apartment doorway. Believe me, there was a big fuzzy cat over here. Not seen things. It's a true story, it was there. It was there. I hear alarms, whether it's a... Probably a fire smoke detector or something like that. Carbon monoxide alarm. I could hear it. Now it's stopped. Somebody reset it. <laughs> hey, Pumbly. Fuck off. Oh, uh, what's going on now? Oh, uh, someone's not listening. You tried to fuck off. You went off the show at the beginning of the night. Half hour. Trees are going fast, guys. They're going more and more every day, quicker and quicker.
that tree over there. It's kind of a mix of colors over there. It's kind of confused. Can't make up his mind. Do I want to be yellow? Do I want to be red? Do I want to be orange? This place is busy, busy. Really busy. One might think this is probably one of the most highly reputable garages around. Really busy. This is pretty nasty over here. I know earlier in the spring I got cuts and took a couple of walks through there, but those weeds are kind of uh, they're kind of off-putting now. more furniture in there though. I don't think that's uh, too usable anymore. Don't get me wrong, that's safe over there. Kids use that for a shortcut every morning to, to school. <clears throat> Which is down the street where I've taken you for walks many, many other times. I come from here, scoot across that field through the back alleyway where I just came from. And then down across with the crossing guard and off to school. There's a train, train, train. It's the first time I've caught a train coming over there. Which is unusual considering this is a pretty big railroad town between three different sets of tracks. Train, train. Still coming. <clears throat> A little bit hard to see from this side, but I 
It's definitely there. You can hear it. I hear geese, but I don't see geese. Bridge right over there. The train goes right under that bridge. You can really almost see from here. There's a bridge, and the train goes right under that bridge. Well, we're down that street. We could be at the tunnel. Under, walk under the train. <laughs> Gonna have to assume this apartment has a basement apartment that's gonna be up for rent soon. I see a refrigerator in the living room. I can only assume that's because they're yeah, refurbing the uh, the kitchen to re rent that place. Anyway, we're back where we started. This tree is getting colorful too. That one's got a great view from uh, 
for my living room window in the apartment. The one that was in front is gone now. That used to be a brilliant red by November. Sadly, when they put that shed and stuff in the front yard, they cut that tree down. I think it was getting a lot of leaves and stuff in their pool. I mean, not their pool, but, pool, but their uh, hot tub before they put the shed around it. <clears throat> anyway, we're going to end this for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Now, anybody who might own that bike sitting over there on the corner might want to let them know that's where it is because I have a funny feeling somebody was thought about walking away with it and then just left it there. Anyway, We'll see you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.